Joining us now, Stephen Trent, uh, airline analyst at Citigroup. Demand side, Stephen, seems the, the jonesing from not traveling during the pandemic is still around. So it seems like the demand side is good. Is it the call side that has people worried? Yeah, and, and first, thank you for having me on. So Thanks. I think the um, demand side does look very good. But I would argue that there's been some evolution uh, in the demand trends uh, over the last year and a half. Um, you now have robust uh, activity on the transatlantic corridor. Right. Trans-Pacific is really starting to spool up nicely. Um, and then you have elements of the domestic market that look a little tougher, are facing somewhat more challenging comps. So we think the supply-demand balance looks reasonable, uh, but it's not uniform. Um, and then you do have cost items uh, affecting some carriers, so a, a lack of uniformity in terms of what we can see on the earnings side. Capacity has done what in, in the last year? And you, you make the point in, in some of your comments, but also people can... It, 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 what, the GDP number has gone up for people to be able to afford paying more for a seat? Or what, what was your point there, that even though it's harder to get a seat? So that would mean it's going to cost more for tickets, too, right? Sure, it is harder to get a seat. Um, you know, you do have capacity versus 2019 is actually now, in the domestic market, up four and a half some odd percent. Right. The U.S. economy has actually grown more than that. So what does that mean in terms of getting back to normal levels? We've actually seen uh, capacity on a per capita basis roughly where it was in 2019. Oh, I see. We now also see uh, U.S. economic activity um, per available seat and I are actually higher. Yeah. So this was 20, a little more, a little less than $24 per available seat mile in 2019. It's now almost $29 per available seat mile today. So there's more economic activity uh, per unit of capacity. Um, so supply demand wise looks okay. Um, and then tickets, that's uh, kind of a different story. So in absolute terms, they're up, but Domestic fares as a proportion of weekly per capita income is actually down versus pre-pandemic. So all else equals, uh, tickets have become somewhat more affordable. So you like your favorites are United and Delta because the so, the, because of the transatlantic flights? or Yeah, Delta and United uh, are my favorites in the U.S. Uh, a Panamanian carrier called Copa is going to be my overall favorite. You like Alaska Air a little bit too, right? Or, or, I do, yeah. I do. <clears throat> What's going to happen with JetBlue and Spirit? So I think in that case, for example, um, the process hadn't really started to play out. Uh, to, to play out. The court process is only going to start, I believe, on October 16th. You have some consumer groups that are suing to get uh, this thing blocked. I think on a long-term basis, you know, JetBlue's pledge to relinquish airport assets, so Boston, Newark, and LaGuardia, that's 15% of their capacity. You know, is that going to be enough uh, to, uh, for the courts to agree to this? I think possibly yes. Uh, but I also think the street's been far too optimistic on the timing. I think it's going to take a long time. Um, and I also believe that if you're JetBlue, there's the risk that you're going to be overpaying for this asset. You know, you're giving up the, the barn. So <clears throat> you can get in here. Right? Where, 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 where are you based? You base, where's your office? Uh, yes, we're in lower Manhattan. So, so uh, you can get here. Which yep. airport do you like to fly out of? Okay, well, Newark from a proximity perspective. Yeah, I was going to say, you have to. <laughs> yeah, that's it's easy. easy. Take it from there. <laughs> for sure, for sure. All right. Uh, Jen, uh, Kennedy Airport in terms Too of... Too far. I have a you lot can't of... Get the, I need to fly there. <laughs> <laughs> I need to take two flights. All right.